You're watching ZTV. Mr. Chairman, do I have a little bit of time to well, I give you a little. <laughs> that was well that. over five minutes, but we'll Thank you, Senator go ahead and answer Paul. the uh, Please answer the question. Yeah, so very quickly, Senator Paul, I, I agree with a lot of what you say about, you know, this idea about people having to put their uh, opinions out without data. And sometimes you, you have to make extrapolations because you're in a position where you need to at least give some sort of recommendation. But if you were listening, and I think you were, to my opening statement and my response to one of the questions, I feel very strongly we need to do whatever we can to get the children back to school. So I think we are in lock agreement with that. The other thing that I'd like to, to um, clarify very briefly is that I, when things get in the press of what I supposedly said, I didn't say, I never said we can't play a certain sport. What happens is that people in the sport industry, they could either be people from Players Association, owners, people involved in the health of the players, ask me opinions regarding certain facts about the spread of the virus, what the dynamics are. I give it, and then it gets interpreted that I'm saying you can't play this sport or you can't play that sport. I agree with you. I am completely unqualified to tell you whether you can play a sport or not. The only thing that I can do is, to the best of my ability, give you the facts and the evidence associated with what I know about this outbreak. Thank you. Thank you. Senator we just need Paul. more optimism. There, Thank you, there is good Paul. news out there. We're not to Senator Casey. It. Shalom, loved ones. The Lord bless you. It is Monday, September 28th, 2020. This is day five of Taking the Nation 2020. This is our countdown to the election. We are covering this election in prayer because we need God's will to be done in the nation of the United States of America. Before we get started praying, I just want to remind you that I have books and products available for download and purchase at www.supernaturalubooks.info. One of the best books over there is called, Oh Lord, Forgive Them, 30 Days of Praying for Your Enemies, and it will help you to remove any root of bitterness that you have in you. It doesn't matter how long it's been in there, that book can help you remove it. When I was going through that process of praying for my enemies, I started out with a list of four people, and by the time I got done, after 30 days, I had a list of 16 people and it included myself and God that I needed to forgive. So you never know what's going to come up as you go through the process of learning to live a life of forgiveness. And living a life of forgiveness is an actual choice. You have to make the decision that you're going to walk in forgiveness no matter what people do. You can be angry for the moment. Righteous anger, of course, is okay, but you don't want to sin as a result. And choosing not to forgive is a sin because the Lord said, if you would like to be forgiven, then you must forgive. All right, loved ones, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the United States of America. We thank you for our president who loves this nation. We thank you that he is somebody who is allowing you to use him, to work through him, to speak through him. We thank you and we praise you for the freedoms that we have in this nation. We thank you and we praise you even for the freedoms that we take for granted. We thank you and praise you for everybody in our military who's gone through what it takes to keep our nation safe. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for those who stand up against unrighteousness in this country. We thank you and we praise you for those who are public servants who are actually trying to serve the public. We thank you and we praise you for exposure that's coming to this nation in large fashion. We thank you and we praise you for the outpouring of the Spirit of God that is coming. You said that your Spirit is going to cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. And we thank you and we praise you for that. And we welcome it. And we stand in agreement with you that it is going to happen in our nation, that we are going to be a beacon of light for other nations on this earth. We thank you and we praise you for Yeshua, for his sacrifice. We thank you and praise you for his body that was shed, or body that was broken and his blood that was shed for us in seven places. It was perfect and complete. He was the all time, once and for all sacrifice. It is done. It is finished. We are redeemed. As soon as we accept him, come under that blood and continue to walk out our lives with him as our Lord and our Savior. We thank you and we praise you for the Spirit of God that is with us on this earth 
in us, to work through us and for us. We thank you and we praise you that the Spirit of God can go places we cannot go. We thank you and we praise you that the Spirit of God prays through us perfect prayers that prophesy your will into the earth realm. We thank you and praise you that believers all over the United States are waking up and understanding that they need to pray. And I just decree and ask in Jesus' name that angels be loose to tap them and make them know that they also, in addition, need to praying that they need to go out and vote and vote in person. We thank you and praise you for the understandings that are coming to us, that we are beginning to realize that we have to take an active role in being citizens of this country. I thank you and I praise you that those who you've called to be in politics are awakening right now. I thank you and praise you for the generation of prophets that's coming up. I thank you and praise you that the churches that are not following in line with the will of God are being exposed and that they are being removed so that you can replace them with people who want to declare the entire counsel of God. We thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father, for the work that you're doing in us individually, but also corporately. We thank you and we praise you that you have a plan for this country and that if we come into agreement with that plan and declare out of our mouths what you say, that it will be so. We thank you and praise you that we don't have to be afraid of anything. We thank you and praise you that greater is Holy Spirit in us than anything in this world. We thank you and we praise you that Jesus said it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. The enemy cannot do anything, undo anything that the Lord has done, anything that the Lord has declared. And we come into agreement with the word of God that says it is finished. We just declare that this election is finished. It is finished according to God's will. It is finished according to the kingdom of God manifesting in this earth. It is finished according to the body of believers voting the way that the Bible says vote and not voting according to conscience, which may not be sanctified. We thank you and we praise you for another chance at mercy, another chance at grace. We thank you and we praise you that we can humble ourselves before you repent and call out to you. We thank you and we praise you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness. We thank you and praise you for the prophecies that have come forth for this nation that we are warring with now so that they manifest in this earth. You are great and greatly to be praised. We honor you. We magnify you. We bless you. We glorify you. Lord, right now, we just submit our tongues and our spirits to you to pray perfect prayers through us that prophesy your will for this election season into the earth realm that agree with Yeshua's intercession for this nation that um, loose angels into their assignments with excellence for this nation. And also we ask for your interpretation according to your perfect will and purpose. We glorify you, Lord God. We glorify you, Lord God, and we submit to you. I just heard forcefully vocal. In the name of Jesus, I just declare that the word of God is going to go forth forcefully vocally, that it is going to be loud. It is going to be heard. It is going to change atmospheres and change circumstances. I declare that the body of Christ is not going to be afraid to speak what the Lord tells them to speak, no matter where they are at, no matter who they're standing in front of. I declare that the word of the Lord has precedence over everything else. I declare that the body of Christ will no longer be silenced and I repent of allowing us to be silenced. I repent on behalf of every pastor or every church leader that said that they couldn't speak out on a situation for whatever reason and I lay that under the blood of Jesus and I say that we are forgiven for that and we are cleansed and I say now we must do the opposite when you repent you do the opposite we are changing our minds and we are declaring that we are forcefully vocal especially on things that the Lord is very clear about and that is going to happen in the United States of America I commit to do it and I say that those who want to be in leadership of the body of Christ will do it as well otherwise they will be removed Lord God we know that there's a time and a season for everything and this is a time to speak up you have said it you have reminded us that we are not to be silenced. Your word says that who are we supposed to listen to, to God or to men? It is to God. And we say right now that the body of Christ, if we claim Jesus Christ as our Messiah, 
that we honor God before men. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, loved ones, thank you so much for joining me in prayer. I hope that you will be able to join me again tomorrow. We're praying all the way up until the evening of November 3rd so that we can make sure this election is secured, that it is just and fair according to the justice of God and not according to the justice of man. Stay tuned for a quick message, and I will see you again next time. Be blessed. Hi, this is Zari. If you've enjoyed supping on the Word of God with me today, I invite you to partner with me in this kingdom work. Your partnership in this fertile soil gives you legal access to every anointing my ministry operates in. Multiply, because that's my decree for you. Thank you and be exceedingly blessed in Jesus' name.